I think for now my life comes first, my health comes first. It's unfortunate that when I was here in hospital, my brother and friend, President William Ruto, ordered for the withdrawal of my security from the hospital here. I've been here alone without a single officer looking after me. He ordered the withdrawal of security guards in my rural home in Nyeri, in my private home here in Karen. And all officers who are close to me were disarmed and given a warning that they should not be anywhere near me. I didn't know President William Ruto can be that vicious. I am shocked by how vicious a man I helped to be president, a man that I believed in, a man that I was persecuted when supporting him, could so be so vicious against me when I'm literally fighting for my life in hospital. How cruel can a man be? You know? As we speak today, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Trikati Gashagwa, has no single security officer around him. She's alone. And um, I am aware that a judge seated in Kirogoya, another one seated in Midmani, gave conservatory orders, staying the proceedings of the Senate, which effectively means I'm Deputy President. But the President, in total violation of the court orders, viciously, with due security around me, again, to cripple the functions of my office. He ordered through the head of public service, Felix Koske, that all officers in my office be sent on compulsory leave. Just last night, all vehicles assigned to officers who work under me were impounded to cripple the office of the deputy president. I don't understand this level of viciousness to a man who have been your deputy, who helped you to become president, irrespective of whatever he has done. At his lowest moment in life, when he's literally struggling to stay alive, you unleash such viciousness against him. I bear no grudge against anybody, but uh, this had, had not seen that in President William Ruto. The man I'm seeing is the one is not the one that I thought that I knew.